day trading recap time. We're going to dive into it today. I'm going to bring you a trade recap on AMD from Friday, August 28th, 2020, which was the last trading day. I'm going to show you exactly where my entry was, exactly where my exit was. And the nice thing is it ties into yesterday's video. I'm going to link that video here. If you haven't seen this, check this video out, then come back here and watch the trade recap. Super short video. Try and watch to the end if you can. And if you like the content, hit that subscribe button. Let's jump in. All right, let's take a look at Friday's trade recap. I'm bringing this to you on AMD and happy Saturday to everyone. I'm going to go ahead and pop over to my account. And what I want to do is just turn on my trades and show you exactly what went down. So let's show the trades. And if we look at AMD's chart right here, you can see I'm on the one minute chart. This was a very quick trade. This trade took 23 seconds. And I want to show you the in and the out. You can see I entered right here 750 share size at 84.47. And then you can see 23 seconds later at 84.87, I took 40 cents profit. And you might be saying, okay, great, 40 cent profit, but what, what does that mean in terms of gains? So, like I said, I posted that video in the intro for you to go look at because we broke down exactly what I'm talking about right now. But I'm going to hop over to the whiteboard and show you another example of the stop loss and how that relates directly to your R value. So, if I flip over here to the whiteboard, I had a 20 cent stop loss. Okay, so my entry was going to be at a certain level and I set the stop 20 cents lower. I was risking $150. Right here I wrote $150 R value. So if I were to get stopped out at 20 cents, I would lose $150, okay? Because of my share size, which was 750. And you might be wondering, how did I come up with the 750? And again, if you watch that video, you'll see. But let's do a quick calculation. Let's take $150 worth of risk, okay? That's what I wanted to risk on this trade. Now, if I divide that value by my stop loss, which is 20 cents, you're gonna see that's 750. That's how I determine my share size. That's how easy it is to determine your share size. People ask me all the time that, you know, saying that they don't know how to, to pick the right share size, and it's so, so simple. You just decide how much you're willing to lose, divide that number by your stop loss, and bam, you're done. So you can see right here, 750 shares, 84.47, jumped in, we broke this high, we ran up, 750 shares, exit at 84.87. Now here's the kicker, 84.87 was right in here, right there. That is 84.87, where my cursor is, right here. This trade went 8R on me, it moved up 8R, and I took two of those R's. And my management strategy is two to one, all or nothing. I set it for a two R target. I take a one R stop loss or a two R target. And that's all the trade is. Took 23 seconds, made $300 of $150 risk. And that is Friday's trade recap. Hope that was helpful. Please post questions below. Let me know what you think of the video. Ask me questions about your trades from the week. If you have questions about this trade, ask me in the comments below. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you wanna join our private Facebook group, it's linked in the description below. Come over there and join us. We're 110 members strong. We'd love to have you. And we'll see you next time.